So welcome back to another episode. This package has just arrived from Sony. It is the new PlayStation 4 Slim. And I'm gonna unbox it today and compare it to the old PlayStation 4. So I'm just gonna cut right in here. Being very, very careful. All right, we'll get this out of the way. Oh, wow. Very, very cool. Let's just move this out of the way. Here it is, here's the box. Here's the brand new PlayStation 4 Slim Uncharted 4 edition and kind of excited. And you know what's cool to see right in the bottom? They're showing the PlayStation VR already. It's it's officially coming. We're less than a month away from that. That's something I'm really excited about checking out. So let's dig in here. It's always so much fun getting new hardware. Wow, beautiful, nice white box here. Whoa, <laughs> that's so funny. I'm like, is there is there a little bit more to the box? Because the, the 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 console itself is so small. Here's all the controller and the power cords right here. So we'll move this out of the way. Okay, I think we have everything here. And a copy of Uncharted 4, a fantastic game. I finished this game. Check out my review on this game. I liked it a hell of a lot. Really great game. And this is the bit I've been waiting for, the PlayStation 4 Slim. Just looking at this right here, it's so damn small. I can't believe it. So let's remove these, get them out of the way. Perfect. And ooh, this is always exciting. <laughs> this is it. Wow, look at that. It just seems so tiny. Wow, this is really, really cool. Look at that, that is so cool. There's the front, the side, the back. It feels a little bit lighter too. I think they said it was 30% lighter. Here's the original PlayStation 4. So let's get this and compare right here. I'm just gonna remove all this stuff right here. So you can see right away that the PlayStation 4 Slim is a lot, a lot thinner, a lot more sleeker. I, I really like it. And don't get me wrong, I love the original PlayStation 4. It's one of my favorite consoles, but it's really nice to get a smaller, slimmer model here. Wow. I gotta say, I like the new smoother edges on the sides. Very stylish. And of interest, the USB slots are further apart on the PlayStation 4 Slim. Now, this is John from the future coming back in time. I wanted to add this dialogue in here because I wanted to say that I turned on the unit and after a couple of hours of playing it and screwing around with it, I noticed it's a lot quieter than the PlayStation 4. And also of note, it doesn't get as hot as the PS4. Now, they've moved a few things apart on the PS4 Slim, just like the USB slots, as I said before, they're further apart. On the PS4 Slim now, the power button and eject button are on the left side. They're no longer kind of in the middle, which is a welcome thing. I would always get mixed up and press the wrong button on the PS4, especially wasn't when I wasn't looking and it was like at night or something like that. I'd always be pressing eject when I want to hit power, vice versa. So on this, the buttons are side by side. So I like that a little bit better. So the real question is, should you buy a PlayStation Slim? And the thing is, if you have a PlayStation 4 and you're happy with that, I think that's a good move to do. But if you want a smaller, more compact version, this is a really fantastic way to go. And also, if you don't have a 4K TV yet and you're not ready to upgrade to the PlayStation Pro, which comes out in November, the PlayStation Slim is a really great place to jump in. So it's exciting to have the PlayStation 4. Uh, this is used in here for streaming video games and capturing a lot of video games. It's my real capture device. It's nice to have this model here, which is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I can download all of the stuff I have on this one into this one you know, via the internet through PSN. And I can't wait to have a much more casual experience having this in my living room just so I can play games a little bit more casually, have a little bit more fun with them. And so this is this is the ideal unit for me right now. And let me just say, I have always loved slimmer versions of video game machines over the years. I remember when I had, here, here's my, this is my original PlayStation. This is the original one I got back in the day. It's, it's motor is long dead, unfortunately. But at the time I remember, 
when this was released. Remember this one, this beautiful PlayStation 1 Slim? And uh, I remember getting the monitor for this and that was just the most awesome thing in the entire world to have the monitor. I'll actually hook up the monitor for a video in the future, but just the size comparison of the PlayStation 1 and we're four generations in and we have this beautiful PlayStation 4 and the even nicer PlayStation 4 Slim. So I just wanted to come in and show you guys the comparison of both models because it's really, really cool. So anyways, guys, until next time.